Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, Mr. Simmons, uh, first of all, I, let, let me just kind of rephrase a little bit here. What's your understanding uh, of the general counsel's role in providing timely and relevant reporting to congressional oversight committees? You're in front of an oversight committee right now. Share with me your thoughts. What, what, what's the, what do you consider to be timely in terms of uh, your role in making sure that it gets done? Thank you, Senator, and I appreciated the opportunity to, to meet with you. Um, Sections 502 and 503 of the National Security Act make clear that the CIA would keep the Intelligence Committees fully and currently informed of intelligence activities. And um, with due regard for protection of, of classified information, there's also a, a separate provision, Section 510, that provides that the general counsels of each element of the intelligence community, so including the general counsel of the CIA, would notify the committee of any significant legal interpretation of the Constitution or federal law affecting intelligence activities. So in addition to the, the general obligation uh, to keep this committee fully and currently informed, and I think the general counsel's responsibility would be to advise on or, you know, apply that statutory provision to any particular facts and circumstances. And then there's a separate provision specifically on significant legal interpretations. In our office, we talked a little bit about some of the advanced technology <laughs> that um, is deployed or will be deployed and not only by us, but by our adversaries as well and artificial intelligence and the use uh, of the quantum uh, lack of a better term, the quantum environment uh, is gonna be a critical part of that advancement and it's happening a lot faster than people realize. How do you plan to augment the efforts that are ongoing and how do you see your role in the development or the use uh, of, of this particular advancement in technology? Thank you, Senator. I, I agree that these emerging technologies are critically important and I do think that it is critical to have good legal analysis around these emerging technologies because, as, uh, as this committee surely knows, the law sometimes struggles to keep up with the technology. These advances are happening so rapidly. And so it's a question of reviewing the law that exists with an innovative and careful analysis, applying it to a new technology. That's something I've done uh, in the private sector. Um, I was involved in a litigation matter related to the largest Bitcoin mining facility in North America. These are huge data centers. They are important to our national security, important to our strategic advantages. And if confirmed as general counsel, it would be a priority of mine to provide that innovative, careful legal analysis of existing statutory and legal frameworks to emerging technologies like artificial intelligence, quantum computing, and so on. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Metzger, I don't think they've hazed you much yet today, and I suspect that you're probably not going to get much hazing at all. I think your reputation on this committee is such that while we hate to lose you from the committee, we most certainly think that you're moving to a spot in which you can be a real asset to the Department of the Treasury. Um, let me speak to you. Can you speak a little bit of how your time on this committee will support the role of which you've been nominated? Certainly, Senator, thank you for your question. Um, over the last four years, I've had a front row seat to the absolutely critical nature of congressional oversight that knows no bounds with regard to the intelligence community. Uh, if confirmed, I look forward to continuing robust cooperation with this committee, uh, with its members, and with its professional staff, whom I am very, very proud to call peers and colleagues. Thank you. Um, I'm going to slide back to Mr. Simmons for just a second. I, I, I think with regard to artificial intelligence um, and, and what we're going to be seeing happening, I think the message that we would like to, to share with you is, is that if something was wrong before, not legal before, the use of artificial intelligence in that action does not make it right. Or if something was right before and the use of artificial intelligence is applied to speed up a process, it does not make it wrong. Would that be a fair way to begin the discussion? Thank you, Senator. I think that's a good example of the, the type of innovative application of the law as it exists to an emerging technology. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.
Senator King.